You don't just study the ocean, you have to study the whole planet. But it just turns out that 72% of it's underwater. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Look at that. What are you? So what we have here is a bamboo coral. Uh, although I suspect it's different from the sparsely branching one since it has more of a highly branched structure. Um, but some, something we can take a look at. Yeah, for sure. The polyp zoom, zoom is very, very helpful. There we go. It's full Beautiful. Zoom. Yeah. Wow. Oftentimes you'll see small critters like uh, amphipods or isopods uh, or mycid shrimp or something like that, kind of around and perched on the corals. Yeah. Great. Oh, awesome. So you awesome. can see them closing up their tentacles too. There's a potential chance that they all just, you know, maybe got some food particles when they all closed up, or they could have sensed some disturbance from Herx thrusters. Yeah, so th this could either be a, a very large sparse brancher, but it has uh, a lot more highly branched towards the branch tips. So I, I suspect it might be something different, but still this is great imagery that'll help us make that determination later on. Hello, tunicate. Hello. Culeolus is the genus name for those tunicates. In the family Cule Pyuridae. Cule say it, can you say it again? Culeolus. Culeolus. Hmm. It's turning to face us. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It's really unsettling. <laughs> it really oh, is. Wow. I love this view. Yeah, uh -huh. I know. I'm sorry. I'm running out of running out of zoom coins. Oh, what is that? Very, very needle nosy. Yeah. Mm. It's like feather. <laughs> yeah. What so, are you? Someone lost their quill. <laughs> <laughs> Got any more zoom on there, Dave? Awesome. A snipe eel. Snipe mm. eel. Maybe. On the chat. Interesting. I enjoy that name. Weird. Nice shot there. I think we ought to, if we listen for the snipe sound. <laughs> it's good to know that snipe hunting is still is alive and well in the deep sea. <laughs> Very interesting face. Yeah. All right, we'll let it go then. Oh, there's the... It was rotating for us. Yeah. Hello. All right, Dave, you want to challenge? And want to center up? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Polly keep there? I think it's one. Yeah. Yeah. Not really swimming around. It's just kind of floating. <laughs> floating. Or no, that's not a. What is that? Oh yeah, it is. It is. Oh okay. What are you? It's a different looking one. Yeah. Oh, don't come into us. It's really not swimming. No, not really. Come Going up a little the bit flow. there on the delta there, Jake, please. Yep. Oh, wide, please. Might have to get a little okay. bit ahead. Probably a goniastrid. Mm -hmm. Star and family gonasterity. Ruthless, ruthless coral predators. Go ahead and push on in a bit more there, Dave. Goniastrid. I was saying that so I remember it. Looks like Hibasteria. There's some of those hydrozoids, correct? The yellow to the right, to the right of the sea star. Yep. Yeah, so a lot of the bare skeleton will be colonized by hydrozoans. Mm. Mm. You can see that the tissue sort of receding from the base. Closed up polyps on a lot of it. But yeah, this, some this little star is, is quite small. They do get quite a bit bigger than this. Really interesting brambly uh, branches, yeah, coming off yeah. of the base there. Mm. Yeah. Do you think that's a different species or is it the same? You know, we see these kind of branches come off once in a while and typically they're near wounds or something, but I, I don't think, uh, I, I would say it's probably related to the coral here. It's just, you know, maybe been predated upon, damaged and then regrown. Okay. You know, 